Badge, brought to you by Big O Tires. Tonight we're learning firsthand what it takes to become a police officer here in Utah. Yes, for cadets, their job begins at the State Police Academy. ABC 4's Brian Carlson giving us a rare look inside the academy. All in tonight's Behind the Badge report. The Police Academy in Utah is called the Peace Officer Standards and Training, but most everyone just calls it POST. There's a lot required of cadets to pass, and it doesn't seem like anyone who enrolls is shying away. Becoming a Utah police officer right now is a job in high demand. This year and last year, I think, have been some of the busiest uh, we've seen in a long, long time. Lieutenant Chris Newland with the Utah Department of Public Safety runs the State Police Academy. All cadets in Utah must pass to be certified. Three, six, six on three. One, two, three. Three, six, six. Those who set their sights on wearing the badge go through 16 weeks of intense training. There's a bunch of nonsense. Learning everything from how to uphold the law. To tests on physical fitness, shooting accuracy. Let's head back to my patrol car. Or how cadets respond to road scenarios they'll soon see on the job. What do I do? Can they apply the law in the way that they've been taught in a realistic scenario? And how do they treat people? Are they polite? Are they respectful? Do they manage conflict appropriately? Can they de escalate a situation? I'll go talk to the driver if you want to just kind of stay back. 1603. Ma'am, they came up with a warrant on you. Some cadets going through the academy say it's a tall task. What's been the challenge? I would say academics, um, the classroom stuff, it's pretty tough. Because the thing that I found the most challenging are these scenarios. It's kind of hard to remember every little thing that you're supposed to do, and if one little thing changes. So let's pretend that you ran that information through dispatch. We verified that he has a felony warrant, and you know that. How you're supposed to adapt to that. So it's been a real process trying to piece it all together. However, for some like former Marine Trevor Poli, hired by St. George Police, the academy is exactly what he expects. Harder than you thought? Uh, no, pretty about where I thought it would be. On shooting accuracy, he's near the head of his class. I uh, shot a 246 at a 250 this morning. It was the second highest so far in our groups. Every year, roughly 350 new cadets pass through the state academy before they begin their work as officers. Trainers say for the 90% on target to graduate, their training is just beginning. Police training does not end after that 16 weeks. Most officers go on to their agencies, and there's a period of time where they're trained by their agencies, then they go into field training or on the job training for most other professions. By the time they're done, they'll spend at least a year or more learning the job. Those we talk to know the long road ahead and are eager to start. Feel you're ready? I feel I'm getting there. They do a good job of teaching us. It's challenging, um, but um, they prepare you really well. Trainers say what they learn and how well they perform here at the academy becomes the foundation for their career. So to give you a better look at what cadets must do to pass the academy, I went through some of the training. They gave me the same tests, all the physical fitness requirements, and had me do those same scenarios cadets are required to pass. So next week, I'll show you what it takes and how well I did.